Hey guys, Lung here, welcome back to a new video now today. Episode 4, Game Week 5 of the Premier League show. And obviously you guys know that it was international break and I absolutely missed doing an episode like this. First, we're going to introduce our new special guest. Welcome, Niall Moran. There he is. How are you doing? Okay. Oh, as you can tell, he's proper tall, so he's not even getting in the camera shot right now. Yeah, so, do you support me? I'm an Arsenal fan. Like oh. you guys should know that by now. I, you have been in a previous video. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you reckon you finish third this season? Yeah, I, I think we will. I think it will be close. I think we'll maybe nick Tottenham by a point. Oh, you know, it'll be, be it will be really close. I can't see anyone else getting top four. So just for you new people, this is how it works. If you get the team right, you get one point. If you get the score right, you get three. Thog Dad. Obviously, you know, Thog Dad keeps the scores on bound. Let us know what are our scores for this episode. Well, you might have noticed that I've got a big smile on my face. Really? The scores from game week four were Theo, Five. Mm. Aaron, our, our brilliant special guest, knows tons about football. He also got five. Thog tied with 12 points. No! What? 12. No! Oh, no! In fact, Thog Dad is cancelled. No, I've written the scores down. Oh my god! And I'm going for Southampton 1, Manchester United 1. Oh! I think Sahar might have a good game. I'm going for 1 0 Crystal Palace. Mm. Give this away. I'm very tempted to buy Aguero for this weekend. Captain him. Man City 4 0. I'm going to have to agree with you there. Dad, you've got all the bragging rights this week. I don't even want to be here. You know what? I'm leaving. I'm going. I'm going home. I'm going home. I'm going home. It's just me and Fog Dad. Yeah, you're right, guys. Hey, there. What's the overall points? Theo 16. Mm. Okay. Guests 19. Okay. Fog Dad 24. What? Jeez. What's the light goal? Oh, the light goal today is going to be. 5,000. Oh, no, he's no, done no, it. No, 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 <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thought that's cancelled. Well, no, not getting that. carried away. I'm not hitting I've that. Got 12 yeah. points. I'm getting giddy. 5,000. And when okay. Thog Dad says something, you, you do, do it. it. He knows it. He knows it. <laughs> Start off with Liverpool against Newcastle. Liverpool say? played 4 1 4. What are you thinking, lads? Well, I've gone for an absolute demolishing because. I'm I think it's pretty much standard now. If you predict a Liverpool or a Man City game, you say they're going to get over four goals. I've gone 4 0. Well, Newcastle had a disappointing result last week, one all with Watford. But the thing about Newcastle, they don't concede many goals. They've only conceded five this season. Everyone's saying they're going to get relegated. I don't. Liverpool will win, but they won't demolish Newcastle. 2 0. You've said 2 0, you said 4 0. Let me be the different geezer. I'm going to go 3 0 this time. Yeah. And the next game is Brighton against Burnley. Tough one. Ooh. Two teams who got thrashed last week. What are we thinking? I really struggle to call this one, mate. I think Burnley yeah. are very strong. I think they're a very strong team, and Brighton have not looked good. I think Burnley, their defence is so strong. I mm. can't see Brighton getting past them. I've, gone, I've gone 2 0 Burnley. 2 0 Burnley? Wow. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go with one all. Okay, and this is a sort of a must-win game for Brighton, isn't it? It is, yeah. But you don't want to play Burnley. Nobody likes to play Burnley. I'm going with Fog Den. One all. One all. Ashley Barnes this season has been incredible, and I reckon he's gonna get the goal for Burnley for me. Moving okay. on to Manchester United versus Leicester. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. I mean, Leicester looking good. One three one against Bournemouth last week. Jamie Vardy on absolute fire. Mate, he's incredible, yeah. and there could be an upset. Do you know what? If this was Leicester at home, I would say Leicester would absolutely thrash United. Seriously, yeah, yeah. I would. I would. But it's hard going to Old Trafford. I think it'll be a draw. I think it'll be one one. I'm gonna have to disagree with you then. I think United are gonna pick up all the three points. They've had a couple okay. shockers. Man United two, Leicester one. Interesting shout. Yeah, I mean, is. this is, I mean, United one win in four. That's not good enough for their fans. I think they'll be a little bit nervous, mm. um, but I think they'll just have enough in the tank. Man United 2, Leicester 1. Oh, you agree? Same, same. And I'm going to make one change to my fantasy league team. I'm thinking Daniel James. Next one is Sheffield United against mm. Southampton. Wow. I mean, again, Sheffield United have only lost one game out of four this that season. They're in 10th place and what an amazing result against Chelsea. I know, and that's why I've gone 2-1 to Sheffield. 2-1? Yeah. Sheffield United. Wow. Yeah. Sheffield. Oh, Sheffield United, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'll tell you what, I think Southampton might get relegated this year. They have not looked good. Yeah. Um, Transfer window, a little dodgy. My prediction is Sheffield United 1, Southampton 1. Oh, okay, so yeah. Yes. Two place wins and a draw. Yep. And next is a team that you probably don't like very much, uh, Spurs <laughs> against Crystal Palace. Now, interestingly, Palace in fourth place, Spurs in ninth. Tottenham need to pick up points. Crystal Palace don't really need to pick up points. This is going to be a 2-0 win to Tottenham Hotspur yeah. at the new White Lane. They're not going to have another Newcastle shocker. I've been on camera saying Spurs are going to win, but they are. Ooh. 
Arsenal fan exposed. So I've gone 2-1 to Tottenham. 2-1, 2-0. Right, right, well something's wrong at Spurs overall. One win in four. Um, Harry Kane, maybe he's tired, he's had two internationals in yeah. four days. He missed the penalty. He missed right. the penalty. Oh my goodness. <laughs> We're all going to go on about his penalty, but let's, let's talk about this. Four goals in two games in international break. No. That is true. Yeah. This is a London derby, and sometimes when there's a derby day, things go out the window. But having said that, I'm going for Spurs 2-0 pass. The next game is a tough one to call. Wolverhampton Wanderers against Chelsea. Uh, I've gone for a strange one in this one. I, I, I think Wolves are going to do Chelsea. Oh! I do. Oh. I do, because Chelsea have had a very good start. Like, at the Big start, statement. At the yeah. start, I think this is the start of their downfall. I think it's going to be 2-1 to Wolves. Yeah. Wow. You've got to Wow. Now know. that's a big shout because Wolves have not won this season. One of only two clubs not to have won. But they've looked good. They've looked good. And that doesn't yeah. that say yeah. doesn't doesn't that say to the manager we need to pick up points? So maybe this could be the game they're going to pick up points. Yeah. Yes. That's but what I'm thinking. Mm. I think this is going to be a draw. Wolves won. Chelsea won. I'm going to agree with Dog Dad. I'm going to say it's a draw. But. Uh, a few more goals. Oh, yeah. Two two for two, me. Two, yeah. His channel will be in the link in the description, by the way, guys, just if you want to go subscribe to him. Yeah. Moving on to Norwich against Man City. What do we think, lad? Man City are gonna win this, but it will it'll be 3 1. Mm. And I think Pookie will score. I think so, he'll come back. Okay, Dad, I know you always he's he's Pookie, he's against Pookie, he's got the Pookie propaganda, right? <laughs> Pookie <laughs> propaganda <laughs> hates him. <laughs> no, every no, week, no, no, every no. week you're like Pookie won't score, he's just a bubble. He'll do it for a few weeks and it'll stop. He's Pookie cool. is gonna bag against City. He's class. Yeah. Will be Sorry, in tears. Says he won't. 20 quid. 20 quid. I'm going to say 4 1 to City, of course. Yeah. Well, that's expected, but Pookie will get the goal for Norwich. Okay. I'm going to say that Norwich won't score, therefore Pookie won't score, and this is going to be very one sided. Ooh. Could be 5 or 6, but I'm going with 3. Norwich 0, Man City 3. Okay. Aguero's my captain all oh. day long. The next game is Bournemouth against Everton. Yeah. Bournemouth are struggling, aren't they, lads? But will they, they want to pick up points? And they're at home. Mm. You know, so. Um, I've gone 2-2 two -two this game. I think this weekend, Bournemouth 1, Everton 2. I'm agreeing with Thogdad. We never discuss any of this. We don't discuss it till the camera comes on. And Thogdad and I have suddenly, some, for yeah. some reason, just agree on things. Yeah. Watford against Arsenal. Okay, okay. There's only one person to go first here. I've done it again. This right? is your team. Yeah. But I think it will be very tough. And I think Pepe will get his debut, well, his goal. It'll be 2-1 to Arsenal. 2-1 to Arsenal. Yeah. You're going with it. I'm hoping it'll be the winning goal, too. I'm going to say 2-0 Arsenal. I think, you know what? The, the young boys that come into the Arsenal squad and look really oh, good. Oh, yeah, so Willock. Willock. Willock just broke into the team. And yes. Rodozzi should just got a call up to Mate, the French national team. That is incredible. And yeah. Gwen Doozy on Derby yeah. Day looked incredible. He got that beautiful assist. Yep. It's just a shame he looks so much like David Luiz. I can't Ooh. tell the two apart. There's only one winner here and it's Arsenal. Okay. Watford nil, Arsenal two. Wait, oh, oh my god, again. This is outrageous. This is getting out of order, Dad. We've agreed again. I know. Oh, oh it's good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This is good. This is a joke. The last game is Aston Villa against West Ham United. Mm. Okay. So th um, this is my highest scoring game. This is going to be a goal thriller. I think it'll be 3 2 to West Ham. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Um, I'm going to disagree with you on that. Because I think Villa have picked up less points than West Ham this season. I think West Ham won seven, and Villa are on three. I honestly believe that Villa at home will create an atmosphere and they will get a 1 0 win. Uh, yeah. But West Ham, they found that, that rich vein of form. Haller's looking superb. Yes, he is. Yes. He's, he's one that we should all be looking at buying. Yeah. Um, and I just think they'll be too good for Aston Villa. Seriously. So I've gone for Villa 1, West Ham 2. Time for the second part of the video. You guys love this part. Uh, this is the Fantasy Premier League points. We're going to look how we did last week. We're going to get straight into it with Thog Dad. How did you do last week on Fantasy Premier League? Superb. Seriously? <laughs> yeah. Straight up. Because I know I had a really good week. I got 78 points. Ooh, and my team, Jesus Christ. Oh my my team is on the screen now. And I told you all, Captain Aguero. He did say. 32 did. points. Some of you listened, some didn't. Eight of my players did really good things. Adrian Van Dijk, Zinchenko, Kelly, Dinya. Some real points in defence. Bernardo Silva, I stuck with him and he came through. Salah got an assist and Aguero. And in the oh. Fogden League, I'm, I think I'm 101, so I'm nearly in the wow. top 100. Wow, that's so I'm right. coming for you. Ooh. <laughs> Just to show you how good that is, the average last week was 57. He yeah. absolutely smashed that with 78. Yeah. So, shall we move on to me then? I got 76 points, which is two oh. off Fogden. Yeah. And very you know good. what? Very good. That is very good. <laughs> and I didn't even have the 32 points of Aguero, so my team is very balanced. Everyone got points the other week. Adrian in goal, clean sheet. At the back, Otamendi, clean sheet. Kelly, thank you, Crystal Palace, for the clean sheet. Let's move on to the midfield. Yeah. Gwen Doozy, legend of got the got game. He got yeah. a clean sheet and a sit. De Bruyne getting 13 points, Manor getting eight. I expect the exact yeah. same this There's week. the points. 
Harry Kane got a goal for me, so that's 12 points. And I'm coming up the Thogden League. 510. Oh, Wait. Yeah. I got the same as Fog Dad this week. Got 78 points. Wow. Although it is a bit sour because I used my triple captain. Oh, yes, I did. I did. Um, I had the Hayer in goal because I swapped him for Allison. He got me two points. Not that good. Um, I have Maitland Niles like you. Not yeah. that good week. Then I had the two Liverpool players. We got Alexander Arnold and Van Dyke, 11 and 7. I've had Zaha since the very beginning, and he's done nothing. Yeah. He has done yeah. absolutely nothing, and. I'm just being stubborn now. I'm keeping him in my team <laughs> just because I know the mere second I take him out, he's yeah. gonna score a hat trick. And De Bruyne that I've had from the very beginning. Yeah. And yeah, we also had Callum Wilson. Um, who, yeah, he's been steady. He's got like an assist a game. Um, 78 points. I'm happy with that. We beat Theo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Some stupid reason Thog Dad put a like target of 5,000 likes. It's 5, probably 000. that's got to be a record of Thog smash it. It is a record. Yeah. Niall, yeah. good luck, thank you. and thanks for coming on. Sorry, Legend, yeah. go subscribe to his channel, go watch his videos, guys. comment Thogden Army and all of his videos, you know, yeah, give him all the love you want. I need some fans, guys. He does. Fans. I've only got 500 subs, so we'll make that a thousand. We'll be Let's one, make it we'll a be thousand, one of the yeah. first. Let's make yeah. it a thousand, guys. I cannot wait to be back in the forward oh. at Rotherham away. To Rotherham. And you know what? We've sold every single ticket. That is what oh. you call a proper fan base. And you know yeah. what, guys? Let us know in the comments, are you going on an away date or a home fixture? Let us know which team you're going to watch and who you're playing. We'll end it on that. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more football content and I'll see you all later. There you go. Have a lovely weekend and enjoy the football. It's back. Come on. Come on, Walter. See you later.